Rehabilitated children of different types of disabilities, and I'm the executive director. My name is Samali Matu. Um, we thank all the sponsors for this program, rehabilitation program, uh, and some of our donors are CBM, uh, Lillian Foundation, Health World Foundation, International Federation for Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus, and uh, MEND. We want to thank you all for the good work that you do for our children. And please let me take you around the home so that you can know what we do here. So I Learning Center is also for children with disabilities. Uh, we handle cases of uh, intellectual disabilities and also cases of uh, these other physical disabilities, it's basically cerebral palsy. Early Learning Center, uh, the primary goal of Early Learning Center is preparing these children to join mainstream schools. But before they join, they need to have some skills that will really help them get or maybe fit in the society, in the school society. So one of these skills that we do is uh, we train them in toilet usage then there is feeding, uh, brushing, the dressing up, and so many other things that really make them a bit independent so that they can join other children in school. This is our first time of hearing. The music is now enjoying, even dancing. Very happy. Thank you. We encourage volunteers to come and do the voluntary work here. And for over years, we've been receiving volunteers from various countries. And here we have a volunteer from the region. She's a physiotherapist. Yeah, hi, I'm Sato. Uh, I come from Belgium and I just graduated as a physical therapist so now I am here uh, volunteering as a physical therapist for one month. Mm -hmm. Want to get into the board or what can So what is this going to we do oh we manage post operative post operative left in that on a daily basis we dress wounds for those children who have osteomyelitis, for example, uh, post burn and others. Uh, we manage, we do manage our children who are having spina bifida and hydrocephalus. We do CIC, that is clean internet catheterization, on these children and we help educate the mothers on how to do and manage.
And this called us to go through the surgeries and they did some surgery. And after the surgery, the child was sent here for physiotherapy. And now the child before was unable to work properly. And we are trying to work forward to see that this child walks again and can walk now as we talk with some strength. wheelchairs, we have tricycles, we have standing frames and walking frames. This is one sample of the walking frame. And uh, Henry, because one of our programs is an apprenticeship program, we train some of these children with disabilities on how to make these appliances. And Henry happens to be one of the child with a disability who is trained under that program. And he's learning how to make metal products. And this is one of the frames that is trying to generate. You see that is able to make a wheelchair. And in this program, we want to make sure is like when they are trained, they know what to do. When they get back to the community, they are able to do those minor repairs within the community instead of all the clients coming back to the center for these repairs and whatever is supposed to be done. So Henry helps us, and he's here for about one and a half years doing this training, and we expect him at the end to have known how to have a basic knowledge of wheelchair production. So I was uh, I explained earlier, we have branches as a product of the wood, we make different sizes from a child of working age up to an adult. So we make different sizes to suit in those uh, heights of the children. We have standing frames, also components out of wood and metal. This one is the best when a child is in a standing position. He reaches a standing age and is not able to stand by himself. Uh, my name is Simon Akram. I'm an orthopedic technologist. I make splints, orthosis. Then I make artificial limbs, prosthesis. So um, here is an example of uh, an artificial limb, prosthesis. And uh, it was for a girl who lost her limb as a result of a road traffic accident. And we have, she lost it above the knee. So we are making for her a limb that will help her walk and even has a knee joint component that can walk almost normal. So what we are doing here, at this stage is ready for dry fitting. We have already assembled our components. So we are, we are moving towards the static alignment where the scale is going to come, down on this thing, the, the official limb, and then we, we see whether it's pressing, whether it's, it's, it's okay for her, then she starts the gauge training.
so uh, we we have a Pigare Pigare project. It's part of our livelihood program, and with the Pigare project, it is both an income generating project for the home, and it's also a training center for parents that come here for rehabilitation. And uh, we we do give piglets piglets free of charge to our parents that learn how to rear these pigs and can be able to take on this project at their homes. This boy, Tadeo, when we saw him, he could not even walk 15 meters. Uh, he had three surgeries over a period of one year. And this I got plastic foot supports to maintain the correction achieved. So with these supports, then he needs new ones such that can go back to school. Well, <laughs> No, we like so no room go gula yon. Eh, that you are the one that had but to explain all. Mm. No, but I the same problems mm. with the Albertine. So, so, we are also looking at the period of time mm. that when surgery is done at an early age, then there is something good that can come out of it. But when surgery is done, correction is done at an, a, a later age, so you find that. Uh, the, the problem continues and the, the head will have to continue swelling like that. Hey. Hey.